hey there today i'm gonna show you how to model an application using mobile for beginners from basic to moderate and android applications are of two types single apk split apks single apk can be modded directly but split apks have to be converted into single apk by using some tools now i opened apk tool and uh, applications menu now you can see there are some splitted apks in my device now let us consider an example of an splitted apk and here it is easy voice recorder pro is a split apk now i'm extracting it and its format is in the form of dot apks if you convert our backup from any other apps like a es file explorer or titan backup then it is in the form of apk but if you try to mod that one you may face praise errors or some now anti split the application into single apk by apk split g2 by selecting the apk file and merge it thank you bro for this application it's really fast and uh, really effective too and merge it and the speed is really awesome okay okay anti split completed okay now come back and open the same file come back and uh, open that one to refresh that file okay okay you see here the application is in the form of okay wait dot apk you see last thing and uh, decomplify it and see inside it wait it's take some time okay now you see the folder here up up thing is the anti splitted apk and we can mod it and the the output don't show any errors after the modding okay if an application is not a splitted apk so you can directly backup and you can uh, decomplify it there itself no need of these things okay so now i'll explain instead of an apk file then you get a better idea about where things are in it and you can mod that things if you decompile an application it consists of these folders in it for example i decompile an application named insert from play store and uh, opened it in es file explorer and it consists of some folders and uh, some files assets lib original resource unknown manifest xml apk tool classes dex classes dex2 and now i am explaining step by step folders okay assets folder assets folder consists of uh, scripts like uh, java html or images or videos or mp3 or uh, text files zip files etc and uh, in this we can see that applications background images or songs music everything are in these files and in some cases here they uses image format as webp format so that its size is more broader than that to png file and we cannot find them easily so that they can be replaced by not changing the name and the format name so that you here we can see that webp files there they are the image files and we can also change them if we want we can also delete them if they are no necessary for that one in that application and even it consists of ttf files text files and uh, change log files and uh, pop up files sometimes it may be in these files and uh, even html files bodies or web page view all are situated in this folder and some apps do not have this folder in that applications and they are in the form of simply folders or dex dex files in it it consists of now we see lib files lib files are the files which helps us to run the application on a particular device architecture it it is architecture of a application so if you want to change lib files you can change it by extracting it from other device i highly recommend you to change lib files to arm so it supports all the devices and arm has very less in size when compared to arm 64v ata or remaining higher end and some devices like MIPS or x86 are highly recommended do not change them they only supports for a particular device only and here original folder which is created by default by apk tool where it consists of 
uh, certificates or change logs are before build the application status in this files it records here down xml we can also change this configuration settings also ok now come back now here uh, this unknown tab is meant for android certificates all about here and we see that manifest android manifest it is the main component in application to run it consists of what is an application and uh, wait let me show you okay it consists of build code app name uh, package name version code supporting and uh, user permissions which helps us to run the application and android permission android activities and android metadata and intent filters all are in this and if we delete these lines sometimes app make crashes we have to delete some lines in it but carefully we have to delete that things okay now here classes decks and classes two decks let me show you I decompleted another application uh, with uh, simile and uh, the classes decks are converted into simile if we decomplify them and we can change them inside and it consists of lots of thing about the application and here is the main Thing and it is very difficult for you beginners and I'll show you after some time a video about it how to do things in it inside